My name is Kamlu Gulrajani and I am director for Agrat Seva Kendra, which is a tax-exempt non-profit organization. And we embrace diversity, access, accessibility for all genders, seniors, and the disabled. On uh, May 19, 2023, in East Brunswick Library, we had a change makers event. And at that time, we give honor to Ritu Chopra because she has made a commitment for it and she excelled in it. And now I am here to interview here about uh, the latest book, Women's Leadership for the 21st Century. Ritu, what made you think about writing this book? Kamlu, first of all, thank you for having me. I had for a long time thought of writing as my uh, passion to serve humanity. I find that with writing, you can reach people, millions of people near and far. So there was always a desire um, as a uh, mother, full-time employment, etc. So writing is always a challenge, but as a passion, I kept it. And uh, over time in my career, when I saw in my corporate career, when I saw of women, even in leadership roles, have very different challenge than men have. And I always think of collaboration. And I w had a desire to write a book for women leadership. It, the idea has been there. Uh, but during COVID, most of us um, had more time uh, due to uncertainties, uh, and we were, um, COVID brought us on our knees around the world. And I am globally connected with very powerful women and uh, had uh, chances to speak to people in different regions of the world, different parts of the world, what was happening there, how they're coping, how they're dealing with challenges, loss of employment, multiple challenges all around. And I saw women were struggling in a different way, professionally, personally, emotionally, and not to say that men were not, uh, but uh, women took the toll in that. And really seeing extremely talented women not having hope to go back to the level in a workplace uh, that they were at, it really struck me very hard. And as I was uh, uh, envisioning to write a book on women leadership, and then I thought of there is hundreds and thousands of book on leadership strategies. Um, my ideas changed uh, for women leadership. Instead of having a strategy book, I decided to take a holistic approach to leadership. And I saw these talented women who, uh, the baby boomer generation, if they go into retirement, they are taking away valuable talent, which is so much needed to uh, train younger generations of women and men. As women, we are the givers of life, uh, mothers. Um, we raise boys and girls to me. Uh, we are part of the family unit, we are part of the society, we are part of the workplace. We contribute to the economy, we contribute to the GDP, we contribute to the success of uh, men leaders, we contribute in, in every aspect. That is leadership itself. And I do not want to take that away from this trailblazer women who have set the stage for the younger generation of women. So my book is a holistic approach to leadership for women of all generation. And my call to action and my request so to people who are listening out there is that this is not just a strategy of leadership. This is call to action. This is dialogue. This is come together. We need to set aside the gender wars. The time has come uh, that your humanity is facing very different challenges. So we need to come together and participate in raising conscious leaders of tomorrow. So that's how this whole thing took place. I understand that um, the younger generation of women are very interested in seeking leadership opportunities. Mm -hmm. And how can they uh, access that type of uh, 
leadership roles and be successful in it? So again, it's a very good question and very important as well. As uh, uh, leadership qualities is one. Uh, mentoring the younger generation to those leadership challenges is another one. And young women today have advantages because the trailblazer women have created a platform from them to rise. However, there's a generational mindset. Um, they don't get as much opportunities. So they have to work very hard. But at the uh, positive side, the younger generation, uh, there are less gender biases than your and my generation had faced. So uh, to get to that stage, there's a lot of work is needed. And I address a lot of these topics in my book. We are going to have a book launch on October 2, uh, 2023 in the East Brunswick Library. Yes. And uh, we would like uh, the audience to register and attend. I urge people who are listening, this is a um, no cost uh, uh, event and please register. Uh, we'll be sharing our registration information. Um, and. Uh, there's going to be very engaging conversations about the topic I address. And I understand it will be for beneficial even to the men. This is also not just addressed to the women, but yeah. even the men and everybody else also can benefit from it. So thank you everybody for listening to this chit chat and uh, look forward to see you in East Brunswick Public Library between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. on Monday, October 2, 2023. Thank you, Ritu, for, you know, putting so much light on this book. And I wish you all the success Thank that you. you deserve. Thank you so much.